The eighth generation Toyota Camry hasn't changed all that much since we last reviewed it, but it is the number one selling midsize sedan in America, so there is no harm in revisiting it. Okay, some things have changed. I previously described this generation Camry as your responsible cousin with the stable job at the city planning office, except what she's like on the weekend when things get cray. Well, look out. Since we last chatted, Toyota added a sassy TRD Camry to the lineup. The TRD is like that same responsible cousin, but on a bachelorette weekend at Cabo San Lucas. Ooh, girl. Adding zippy flair to the Camry without subverting its responsive lessons are a range of racy visual upgrades. We got red trimmed side skirts, a rear diffuser, TRD exhaust tips, an assertive front fascia with splitter, 19 inch matte black wheels, some right sporting interior touches, available contrasting roof paint choices, and a pointy angular rear wing. Hmm. And lest you think all of this TRD ness is pure poserism, let me correct the record. Also, I'll stop using the word last. The TRD boasts larger 12.9 inch front brake rotors plus red calipers. Nothing says speed like red calipers. Then there's the TRD tuned suspension. Along with a front tower brace, there's additional bracing from the rear suspension, along with reworked dampers and springs that drop the ride height by 0.6 inches. This is the first Camry that I can recall that has something approaching stancy swagger. Go get a Camry. That newfound swagger extends to the TRD's road manners. There's a confident direct quality when steering through bends. Huh. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's kind of fun. Ha! <laughs> ah, I'm Camrying and I'm loving it. Okay, we need to move on from all this TRD-specific magic, but lastly, I should mention the engine. It's the same 3.5-liter V6 found on other higher Camry trims. The TRD is no stronger than any other V6 Camry, but it is plenty powerful. If you can't make a ruckus with 300 naturally aspirated horsepower, you're doing it wrong. Okay, last thing about the TRD. It's the cheapest way to buy a V6, undercutting the XLE V6 trim by about 3,400 bucks. The TRD is slightly less efficient than the XLE V6, but if you like V6 power, wings, stance, and value by the TRD. TRD details aside, the Camry is still very much a Camry. Passenger space is ample, the seats are comfortably contoured, center console storage is large, critical touch points feel nice, while other spots feel somewhat lowbrow, and the controls are clearly labeled and intuitive to use. To Toyota's credit, since our last Camry review, they've righted a great wrong. Toyota has added Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration. I am so happy I can stop complaining about that. Uh, the interface itself is not visually spectacular, but it is functional. And I do like physical buttons around the side for the main menus. Uh, Toyota, you've earned yourself a hearty thumbs up. Oh, oh, oh boy. I didn't mean that. Camry trunk space is a reasonable 15.1 cubic feet in all but the L trim, which is one cubic foot smaller for some reason. If you know why, please let us know. And if you're wondering, thanks to a battery positioned under the rear seats, the Camry Hybrid offers the same trunk space and pass-through as the standard Camry. Heads up, the Camry TRD's rear structural bracing precludes fold-down seats. Bummer, I know. A few more details about the Camry Hybrid, its electrified powertrain delivers lively acceleration and superior fuel economy. If you want maximum efficiency, be sure to choose the least expensive hybrid LE trim. Stick with the standard four-cylinder gasoline engine, and you'll still enjoy a nice blend of performance and efficiency. Oh, those are great numbers for a mid-size sedan, but just like the hybrid, the cheapest L trim is the most efficient. 41 highway MPG in a family sedan? What a time to be alive. Both the V6 and four-cylinder engines are joined to a fine eight-speed automatic transmission whose operation is innocuous enough you probably won't think about it. As you know, I'm driving the Camry TRD, and even though the ride is firm, to me it's not unreasonably so. Yeah, we're in Cabo, but I can still answer that email from Vanessa in accounting. I got you, girl. Stick to the more mainstream trims, and the Toyota Camry rolls with a confident, comfortable spirit that your parents will definitely approve of. 
buy the base $24,500 Camry L trim and you'll get 10 airbags, two years complimentary maintenance, and the Safety Sense P suite of driver assists, including dynamic radar cruise control, automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, and lane keeping assist to keep you from needlessly wandering outside your lane. Stay in your lane, Camry. For our money, the $500 pricier LE trim is a smart upgrade, assuming you want power front seats with driver side lumbar support, 60-40 split folding rear seats with a center armrest, and this overhead console in which to store your cool sunglasses. Oh, right, this is one of those spots that feels kind of cheap. Explore higher trims and the option sheet, and you can add wireless phone charging, three USB ports, navigation, keyless access with push-button start, a 360-degree camera system, an 8-inch touchscreen replacing the standard 7-inch unit, dual-zone climate control, leather seats, blind spot monitoring, a panoramic moonroof, and rear vents that should be standard on more than just the fancy Camrys. Mm. It's a good thing I got this delicious coffee to distract me from my anger. Ah. And if the TRD is too sporty for your taste, consider the somewhat more sedate but still quote unquote sporty SE and XSE trims. Max out the spendiest Camry XSE V6 and the price caps around $38,000. Mid-sized sedan alternatives include the Honda Accord, Hyundai Sonata, and Nissan Altima among many others. Or just do like a lot of other Americans do and go buy an SUV instead. But assuming you appreciate the superior driving dynamics and fuel economy of a sedan, the Toyota Camry makes a great case for itself with strong value and a well-rounded sedan spirit. And if you want a car that can blast you to metaphorical Cabo, now there's a Camry that can do that too. I'll see you back in the office on Monday.